Hello! What's going on, everybody? Hey, Baltan! I've got the fever. It's true. Um, I've got some background music going on, so... Let me know if it gets too loud or anything. I feel like it always sounds different in my ears than, like, on the playback. So just let me know. Ruby is over here sleeping. She's napping. Um, she had to go to the vet again this morning. So she's recovering from that. She's okay. Um, just She just has some intestinal issues and we're working on getting it fixed up. But, you know, it, it is what it is. She's just kind of nasty. So, yeah, I am opening um, Commander Legends today because I have this box. It, okay, so it's not actually a full box. I've already opened some of it. It's, it's a mostly full box. I think I've only used six packs out of it. But, um... I don't think I'm going to end up playing with these. So I just want to open them and see what's in here. I like, I love opening packs. I mean, I know Pack Rack Fever is like the OG pack cracker, but I like opening packs too. That's how I started in this business. That's how I started with my content, <laughs> opening packs. Hi there, Bobby Christine. Okay, so I have, let's see. I have six, 12, 18 packs to open. Pixie Kitten Pulls, yes, that was the that was the original name. And then I changed it to Pixie Kitten Plays. So it was like more inclusive of everything that I wanted to do with my content. Um, yeah, so let's just go. Let's go. Let's start opening. See what we got here. I guess I'm gonna move these off. Crack packs on that cute kitty. I know, look at this cute kitty. It seems harmless, but we know it's not. We know it's not. I haven't just straight up opened cards in some time. So this will be really fun for me. I don't really remember what all is in Commander Legends. So, we'll figure it out together. That's what. I wanna build more Commander decks, like, you know, always, right? So, th this will be good. This will this will sort of add, add to my collection. Uh, okay, our Uncommons, Codex Shredder, Meteoric Mace, Demonic Lore, and our uncommon is Elvish Dreadlord. Um, our legend is Brynlin the Moon Kraken, and Ro... What is this? Rograk? I think that's how you say it. Rograk, son of Rogar. <laughs> Um, our foil is Entourage of Tress. It is a common. And we got an Elf Warrior. Is there anything in particular you were looking to pull here? What? was There was something I didn't get. Um, I never got... Um, the Angel. The, the uh, Black and White Angel. I never got that one. I would like to build a deck around that. Uh, Lisa? Lisa! That's right, Lisa! Pretty sure. That's the card. I never got that in any of the other Commander Legends stuff that I opened up. Okay, okay, okay. I guess I'll keep my foils, like, in a separate pile, because we all know they're not going to lay well. Okay, these Commander Legend foils did not do well. Uh, okay, our uncommons are Skilled Animator. Monstrous Onslaught, Slaughter the Strong, 
Our rare is Sakashima's protege. Um, that is a that is a blue creature, so you know I'll never play that. Um, our legend is Gilanra, Collar of Wirewood. Oh, it's an elf. Okay, okay, sure. And we also got Nimrus, Uno's trickster. A fairy knight. I can't remember if I've gotten this one before or not. Our foil is Hero's Blade. Uh, and we got the Prismatic Piper. I mean, okay. Okay, okay, a copy. Okay, here we go, here we go. Boo, blue, I know, right? Mana Drain and Jeweled Lotus coming up. Yes. Oh, a Jeweled Lotus, I forgot about that. Yeah, I don't want those blue cards. No more blue, okay? No more blue in all of these packs. That's it. We got, we've already got our fill of blue. We don't want any more. Thank you, but no thank you, please. Okay, checking out our commons here. Okay, on commons are Kangi's Lieutenant, Mindless Automaton, Hey, I think I play that in one of my decks. I play that in my um, Shinji guy. Thank you for the follow. Um, hey, The Weekend Geek. Yes, Jeweled Lotus. Fingers crossed. I play this in my Colfenor deck because it's like a counters one. So yeah, there's that. Guildless Commons. Okay. Our rare is Nevenroll's Disc. What's up with this? Whoa, 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 wait a second. Pay one, tap it, destroy all artifacts, creatures, and enchantments? That seems like really mean. But could, could be handy. Our legend is Emoti. Celebrant of Bounty. Oh, it's a Naga Druid. Okay, with Cascade. Okay. And we got Arden, Intrepid Archaeologist. Okay, okay. That's fine. Strategic Planning is our foil. And a Monarch Token. It is a scary disc. Got a deck. Throw in a disc. I mean, yeah, I guess it could work in anything, right? You need to get rid of some something annoying. There you go. Nevin Rawls disc. Covers a lot of stuff there, for sure. Okay, we're moving on. Yeah, I wouldn't get any blue. Well, we got this blue and green, but that's okay. We're we're okay with that. Okay, let us see here. Commons. Ooh, Ambush Vapor. Wow, that looked mean. A, a Marble Diamond. Okay, 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 okay. Our Uncommons. Burning Anger. Victimize. Okay, I definitely play with some of this and all my sacrifice stuff. Lore Seeker Stone. Okay. And our rare is Immaculate Magistrate. I mean, I guess I need to build an elf deck, right? Like, we got a lot of elves happening here. I wish my camera loved me, but we all know my camera hates me. There we go. Got it. I did want to build, um, what was that? What's the... What's the gross elf creature, like the elf ball creature? I wanted to build one of those. Maybe I'll do that. Our legendary is Glacian, Power Stone Engineer. Okay. And Kangi, Sky Warden. Okay. A trusty path beast, foil, and a treasure token. Oh, my phone's buzzing. Abomination of Lana War. Yes, that's it. That is it. Hold on, I'm gonna put my phone on silent. I mean, this stream is important. I can't be dealing with my phone popping off the whole time. What a distraction. Janky elf cards are one of the best things to do with collections. 
Yeah, I think I do want to do Abomination of Llanowar. I know Zuby had sent me some elf cards too. I mean, I probably have at this point enough to build at least a moderately janky one. Okay, Let's see what we got here. All right, all right. Oh, Elvish Visionary, okay, okay. Our uncommons, Fathom Fleet Sword Jack, Scholar of the Ages, we don't want blue. Dreamstone Hedron, okay. Armored Sky Hunter, a Cat Knight is our rare. Um, uh, some more blue. Anna Summerfolk, no thank you. Okay, Ar Arami of the Dead Tide, sure. Ooh, and we got this pretty card, Anara, Wolvid Familiar. I mean, at least this one is pretty, right? Look at that. Just kidding, don't look at it. Don't look at it. Oh, okay, there we go. Wolf Beast, I just like the antlers. I, I just think they're cool. Fencing Ace, Foil, and a Spirit Token. They're probably just calling to ask about your car's extended warranty, right? Like, please stop. Those people do not give up, I tell you that. It is a beautiful wolf queen. Okay, we got our commons. A sky diamond, I won't play that ever. Nope, won't do it. Some more elves. Okay, okay, okay. Our uncommons are First Response, Armorcraft Judge, Nadir's Nightblade, and our rare is Necrotic Hex. Ooh, I love this art. Oh, that's because it's Nils Hom. Of course it is. Each player sacrifices six creatures. You create six Tap two two black zombie creature tokens. I kind of like that, but I like to do sacrifice stuff, and it just looks really cool. Nice. Our legendary creature is Radiant Sarah Archangel, and Obeka Brute's Chronologist. Okay, interesting. What's the deal with this card? Like. I feel like if I ever played blue, I could do it in Grixis. Maybe. Is that wrong? Is that wrong? Don't tell anybody I said that. Oh, this is a rare card. The player whose turn it is may end the turn. Huh, that's interesting. That's, that's interesting. What do y'all think about this card? The colors of Nicobolus. I know, right? What is wrong with me? Howling Gollum is our foil. Another prismatic piper and a soldier token. Rakdos makes blue infinitely cooler. It's true. It's true. It's true. It's true. It's so true. It's it's very true. That's that's one of the only ways I would consider playing blue. And I just don't know what that says about me. Probably nothing good. Okay, moving on. We got our commons. This looks a real similar to the pack we just opened. Okay, that's, you know, whatever. Uncommons, Angelic Armaments. Volcanic Dragon. Guilt Leaf Winnower. <gasps> Yay, we got a Vault of Champions for a rare. Nice, these are definitely colors I will play. Our legendary creature is Dargo the Shipwrecker, a very angry pirate. And Siani, Eye of the Storm. Okay, okay, I, I won't play that, but there it is, okay. Hey, thank you for the follow, the Maddie J8. 
Captain's Call is our foil. And a zombie token. Oh, Becca is kinda neat. I've seen some good-ish. But it does involve some mono blue you wouldn't like. Uh-oh. What do you mean? What do you mean? What do you mean, Ball Can? Are you talking about counter spells? I can't play counter spells. I can't do it. I cannot bring myself to do it. I don't like people who play counter spells against me, so I just can't bring myself to play counter spells. Like this right here, forceful denial. Like it's mean. It's just mean. Okay. Sky Diamond, no thanks. Okay. I think I play Fleshbag Marauder in a couple of my sacrifice decks. I like sacrifice, okay. I do, I really do. Okay, our uncommons are Siren Storm Tamer. Gross! Strength of the Pack. All right. Frenzied Saddle Brute. Okay. And our rare is Dawnblade Regent. Wow, that looks a fancy. Got some Monarch stuff going on. That's fun. Oh, and our legendary creature is Abomination of Land War. Yeah, I think this is the one I, I think this is the one I wanna build. We also got Nevenral, Urborg Ur Tyrant. Wow, okay. Nevenral seems kind of gross. Um, real gross. Hexproof from artifacts, creatures, and enchantments. When Nevenral enters the battlefield, create a tap 2-2 black zombie creature token for each creature that died this turn. When Nevenral dies, you may pay one. When you do, destroy all artifacts, creatures, and enchantments. It's kind of like Nevenral's disc, right? Kind of like it. That's, na that's kind of nasty. It's kind of nasty. Our foil is Armory of Iroas. I Iroas. And a soldier token. I can't say these words right, okay? There's a lot going on. Hey, Waldo man, I am, yes, I am cracking some Commander Legends. I fought and murdered, oh, you played Nevenroll and sealed the first time, right? No, these are just regular, This. these are just regular draft boosters. you did play Nevenroll and you were like, oh, this is gonna be so nasty, but then I just murdered everybody. That was so fun. I did, I murdered everybody, it was great. But I built something that was like really aggro-y and nobody else did. So, you know, it was inevitable. It really was. Okay, let's see what we got in our next pack. Cat Monkey kinda weirds me out, right? Kind of weirds me out. Sorry, Cat Monkey. A Moss Diamond. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, okay, our first uncommon is Vow of Duty. Ingenuity Engine. Artifact. All right, okay, okay. Thought Vessel. You have no maximum hand size and tap it to add a colorless. All right, sure. Our rare is Court of Grace. All right, sure. Our legendary creature, ooh, it's a cat soldier, Prava of the Steel Legion. And we have Armix Filigree Thrasher. Oh look, we got a foil Togo. Foil Togo is our foil card. I guess I'll put it with my legendary creature cards. And a Monarch token. Haven't seen that jeweled lotus yet, but it's coming. It's, it's coming. Pixie murder is a vibe. <laughs> yeah, I, I mean, I don't win very often, but when I do, I'm very happy. Okay, let's see what we got here. Maybe a jeweled lotus. Like we're gonna, we're gonna get one for sure. I just, I just feel it in my bones. Fire diamond, all right, okay, okay. Uncommons, explosion of riches. 
Nadir's Night Blade, Hunter's Insight. Our rare is Aurora Phoenix. Okay, okay, we got a Phoenix. Oh, look, we got Turtle Shaman. Um, Ar Archelos? Archelos? Lagoon Mystic. Turtle Shaman is our legendary creature. And Yurlock of Scorch Thrash. What does that even mean? Okay, this is John, so that's cool. Vigilance, a player losing unspent mana causes that player to lose that much life. Pay one, tap it, each player adds black, red, green. Interesting. That's kind of weird, right? And our foil is Farhaven Elf. More elves. Spirit token. All right, let's go, let's go. Stones are a thing. Yeah, those racks. I, I've got Togo in one of my decks. I think maybe it's Jury. In my Jury deck? <gasps> Togo rocks, Mana rocks, Lotus. It's all connected. Oh, it's happening. It's happening. Yeah, it's happening. Draft Commander Legends is the best draft environment I've ever done. Yeah, it was, I thought it was fun too. Archelos is my favorite legend ever printed. Aw, cute little turtle. I love it. Had a blast drafting Time Spiral on release date, then got salty watching those take off like rockets. Yeah, the salt, it happens, it happens. Okay, Jeweled Lotus is also happening, so just, you know, Mentally prepare yourselves, because it's happening. Okay, our uncommons are Vow of Lightning. Thirst for Knowledge. Cast Down. I think I just spit on my playmat, sorry. Body of Knowledge is our rare? Okay. Really? Stop moving, Cast Down! Stop! Sorry, it kept sliding. <laughs> okay, that's blue, so whatever. Our legendary creatures are Halana Kessig Ranger and Togo again. Okay, Togo. Hey, buddy. But this is still a sign. It's, you know, the rock. It's happening. Perilous Myrrh is our foil. And a soldier token. We're getting closer. The stars are aligning. We're, we're getting closer. It's, it's going to happen. I think there was another legendary creature I wanted, but I just can't remember. I don't, yeah, I don't remember. There's been like 50 sets come out since this one happened, so it's just kind of hard to keep up, you know what I mean? <laughs> okay. Our first uncommon is a fencing ace. Hey, wow, okay. Grafted War Gear. Okay. Imperious Perfect. Oh, look, more elves from an elf deck that I haven't built yet, but I will. Ooh, Spectator Seating is our rare. Okay, okay, okay. Um, I probably won't play these colors in EDH, but maybe Mardu? Maybe, maybe someday, sure. Our legendary creature is Tuya Bear Claw and Crark the Thumbless. Okay, a goblin wizard. Whenever you cast an instant or sorcery, flip a coin. If you lose a flip, return that spell to its owner's hand. If you win the flip, copy that spell and you may choose new targets for the copy. Oh, that's funny. I like weird stuff like that. Our foil is Stinger Fling Spider. Okay, gross. And a spirit token. Mm, I think I have, I think I have Felice. That's the spirits one. I think I already have that one. I don't, I don't think I wanted to build anything around that one. The jank elf ball deck is building itself, right? 
Oh my goodness, yeah. That would be that would be so good in a storm deck, right? I just like weird like coin flip stuff. That seems really fun to me. Where you just don't really know what's gonna happen. It's either gonna be really good or really bad. I should build a chaos deck for sure. It sounds like right up my alley. Okay, the filigree familiar is so cute, right? The little box. All right, let's see what we got here. Do we got a jeweled lotus yet? Is it happening? Okay, our uncommons are Orzov Advocist, Vow of Wildness, Pride of the Perfect. Yo, look at this though, like, I have to build an elves deck. It's just like forcing me to. Camera, camera, camera. Camera, my camera hates me. My, ca my camera hates me. Oh my God, that took like five minutes. Oh, and then it just unfocused again. Wow. Okay, I definitely have to build an elf deck. Our rare is Court of Ire. And our legendaries are Rayev, Master Smith, and, oh no, Essior, Wardwing Familiar. I mean, it's cute, but it's blue though. You know what I mean? It's blue though. Our foil is Spark Harvest, and we got a treasure token. It's like getting dark outside here. It's, uh, it's raining. It's raining. Yep, it sure is. Raining and storming. Yeah, I had to drive Ruby to the vet this morning in the rain, and I was just like so stressed out because I had to drive really slow and be really careful. I thought, I can't, I cannot get in a wreck with my cat in the car. Like, this would just be awful. But we didn't get in a wreck, we were fine. Got there and we got her to the vet and they checked her out and they said she was good. And we got back home and it was fine. So that was pretty much my day so far. Okay, let's see, we are going to get that jeweled lotus. After this pack, I've only got four more. So we got to get that jeweled lotus. Our uncommon coastline marauders, mask of memory. Okay. Patron of the valiant. All right. Sure, sure, sure. Our rare is bio waste blob. Oh, look at this ooze thing. Oozes you control get plus one plus one. Okay, okay. Hold on. I need to cough. <coughs> I gotta do that off camera, you know, because I'm polite. When I talk so much, my throat starts to get scratchy. I don't usually talk this much during the day. Bio Ice Blob. Okay. Our legendary creatures are Numa. Elf, elf warrior. Okay, there you go. There you go. And Miara, another elf. Elf scout. I don't know. I guess it's just, it's fate. Um, Amorphous Axe is our uh, foil that, honestly, like, I can almost not even see it. The foiling is just so weird. Prismatic Piper and a Salamander warrior okay come on jewel lotus noma and niara is what i made my jank elf deck out of nice i don't really want to do another um i don't really want to do another like tribe deck because I've already got a vampires one, but I kind of have to at this point, right? 
I mean, I'm just, I'm getting so many of the cards. Sky Diamond, go away. Ooh, a murder. I kind of really like that card. And our uncommons. Horizon Scholar, no thank you. Make a stand, okay. Reclamation Sage, that's a pretty good elf right there. Ooh, Command Beacon is our rare. Sacrifice Command Beacon, put your commander into your hand from the command zone. Oh, look, our legendary creature is Jury. I love my Jury deck so much. This is definitely my favorite deck to play. I love it. It has nothing to do with the fact that it wins almost every time I play it. It's just so fun. It kind of like, so I'll tell you the secret to my Jury deck. It seems like it doesn't really do much of anything for a long time. And everybody thinks I'm like not really a threat. I'll just do like tiny little damage to everyone. So then they'll get each other really low, get each other's health really low. And then I'll just have all this sacrifice stuff and I can just, just kill everybody off really fast. And then it's like game over and it's so great. I love my jury deck. I'm gonna say it again. I love it. It's my favorite deck to play. We also have Bell Borka Spectral Sergeant. Okay, I don't really, I'm not familiar with that and I don't wanna be, I'm gonna be honest. I don't wanna be. Our foil is Fathom Fleet Sword Jack and a coffee token. Sometimes our packs choose our decks instead of us. Yeah, it's true. Great for Phage the Untouchable. All that salt when you threaten to take it apart. I know, right? I was like, I don't like this deck anymore. And then I won. I'm the worst. I'm the worst, to be honest. He's from the OG Ravnica books. Oh. All right. I'm sure he's I'm sure he's a chill dude. Um, okay, after this, we only have two more packs. Jeweled Lotus, where are you? Maybe it's right in this pack. Let's see, let's see. Mox Diamond, yes. Um, okay, our uncommons. We have a Burnished Heart. That's, that's Dece right there. Hero's Blade. Feast of Succession. Okay, and it's Seb McKinnon, so it's beautiful. Our rare is Blade Griff Prototype. Okay, that's weird. I don't even think I've ever seen that before. And our legendary creatures are Tormod the Desecrator. All right, that's cool, that's cool. Zombie Wizard. And Hamza, Guardian of Arishin. An elf, elephant warrior, not elf warrior. Elephant warrior. That's kind of cute. I mean, look at that warrior. He looks kind of tough, but I don't think, I think he's really a big softy deep down. Um, our foil is Fiery Cannonade and a rock token. Oh, heck yeah. I don't think I have any rock tokens. I was looking for one the last time I played with Togo in a deck. Now I have one. Okay. Elf. Elf offense. Hi. Hi, Unicorn Fluff. What's up? <laughs> Not Pat Crack Fever. Yes, I've got the Pat Crack Fever. Hey, Garbage Andy. How's it going? I only have two more packs to open, and I haven't gotten my Jeweled Lotus yet, so it's definitely in one of these packs, right? Like, for sure. No doubt about it. My lighting got weird because it got really dark outside. Can we get Jeweled Lotus at home? We have Jeweled Lotus at home. Yeah, it's the rock, it's the rock token. No, no, not the rock token. Let me turn my other light on like super quick, hold on. Okay, 
Okay. Was not expecting it to get that dark outside, but you know, storms happen. Okay, here we go. Jeweled Lotus incoming for sure. Um, is the Jeweled Lotus rare? I, I, I literally don't even know. Is it a rare card? I think it is, right? Ooh, a fire diamond. Okay, okay, okay. Um, okay, we got our uncommons. Humble Defector. Interpret the signs. Arcane Signet. All right, that's nice, that's nice. Our rare is Austere Command. Okay. Stay. Oh, it's Mythic. I haven't opened any Mythics. Hey, y'all, I didn't even remember that Mythics were a thing. I haven't opened any, not one. What? What's going on? Austere Command. Okay. Um, our legendary creatures are Alharu, Solemn Ritualist. Okay, okay. It's kinda cool. And Breaches, Brazen Plunderer. Our foil is Rupture Spire. Another rock token! Okay, this is definitely a sign. Our last pack. It has to have it. Mythics are a myth. I mean, so this wasn't actually a full box. It was 18 packs. I had already taken some out of it. But yeah, I haven't opened a mythic at all. What's up? Okay, this one must have it. It, it, it's the last one, so it has it for sure. Okay. I also can't get it open, so there's some sort of protection around this pack, clearly. Something's, it, there's been a ward put on it or something strange so that you can't get it open easily. It's not just me. Something supernatural about that for sure. Right? 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 Okay. What we got? What we got? Our commons. All right. Sure. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Okay. Our uncommons are intangible virtue. Creature tokens you control get plus one, plus one, and have vigilance. All right. Let's go. Ordeal of Nylea, Enchantment Aura, okay. Volcanic Torrent, sure. Here we go, ready? Vampire Tutor, oh dang! Okay, it's not Jeweled Lotus, but it's a Vampire Tutor. Heck, what the heck? I can't play this though, y'all know, right? <laughs> y'all know I can't play this. I'm trying to be so careful. I'm trying to be so careful. <laughs> Look at that. Look at that. Will my camera will my camera focus or will my camera hate me? Oh heck. Oh heck. Oh, did I wake up Ruby? Oh, she is kind of looking over here. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. She said, shut the hell up. I can't play it though. It does have really great art. Remember, okay, so I just made a video about why I can't play tutors. So, um, obviously I have to link it right now in the video. But yeah, I just made a video. I cannot play tutors. Uh, it's really sad, but it's it's it. It's it. So if you haven't watched it, there's the link. And you can watch it. It's like 30 seconds long, so don't don't worry about it. Um yeah, but there it is, Vampiric Tutor. Get someone to shuffle your deck. Okay, our legendary creatures are Captain Vargas Wrath. <laughs> As if we care at this point. Yo, another mythic! Achroma! Hi, Achroma. Yo, another 
another mythic! Carador, Ghost Chieftain, what just happened? What just happened? What, 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 what? Why, why, why did you do this like me, wiz wizards? Why, why did you do me like this? Ruby's getting so upset. Look at Ruby. Look at her. She's like, shut up. Why did they do me like this? I was all like, they didn't give me any mythics. I've opened 18 packs and I got zero mythics. Open one pack and I get three mythic? I mean, okay. I don't, okay, so this is an angel. I don't even know what it does, let's look. Flying, first strike, vigilance, and trample. Hey, Bobby Christine, thank you for the sub. Thank you so much. You're awesome. I was blessed by Togo, right? At the beginning of each combat, until end of turn, each other creature you control gets plus one, plus one if it has flying. Plus one, plus one if it has first strike. And so on for double strike, death touch, haste, hexproof, indestructible, lifelink, menace protection, reach, trample, vigilance, and partner. Partner. What? What? What does it even mean? Okay, what does this one do? This is the etched foil, by the way. I don't know if you can tell. Camera, love me. Love me. Love me! Love me, camera! Okay, it's doing it. It's doing it. It's edged foil. It is a, a centaur spirit. I don't think I've ever seen this. Carador, ghost chieftain. This spell costs one less to cast for each creature card in your graveyard. During each of your turns, you may cast a creature spell from your graveyard. I like that. That is really expensive, though. Five white, black, green. Okay. Three mythics, though. Wow. What is up with that? That's wild. This is literally OG Commander. Carador is one of my favorite commanders. Would this be fun to build around? I mean, I love graveyard stuff, right? Y'all know I do. I really do. Almost always only cost three. Ah, ha, ha, ha. One of the first five precons. Oh, really? That's cool. That's very cool. Uh, speaking of precons, I got my, I got my Witherbloom deck. Your commander playstyle sounds dope. Um, I mean, maybe, I guess. It's pretty straightforward. Uh, okay, well, I didn't get a Jeweled Lotus, so I feel like, you know, I was cheated on that part. But, we'll get one next time. No worries. You can run all three of those mythics in Carador. Oh, that's true. Quandrix for life. Nice. Quandrix seems pretty cool. I just personally don't do math. So, you know. Hey, Zuby, what's up? Um, I, the... I got some mythics, and all three of these mythics were in the last pack. So those are my good pulls. But I can't play the vampiric tutor, cause I uh, can't play tutors, you know? I can't. Um, actually, I will probably play the vampiric tutor because I play a lot of, I play a lot of black decks. It's my favorite color. Uh, the rest of the stuff I got, eh, it was okay. I'll probably try to put a bunch of it up on Card Sphere. Um, to get me some cards that I do want to play. So, I'm going to open my Witherbloom Witchcraft. I know that we know what's in the deck already, but we'll just open it together anyways. Oh, is this the, it, wait. What is this? Is this a deck box? You may use these punch outs as counters or as victory confetti. All right. This is, is this a sticker? Oh, so they don't, they don't put the big cards. They don't put the big 
cards in the decks anymore. I'm kind of sad. Wait, maybe they weren't doing that for a while. Were they? I don't remember. Witherbloom Witchcraft. Okay, I got my little counter thing. Learn to play Commander. Okay, okay. And here we go. Um, I think I want, but I want to use, I want to use the, um, the food guy to make, to make me a food deck. The food guy that's in here. Big cards fan. This is the first set without the big ones. Yeah, oh, okay, yeah. Yeah, that's what I thought. I'm so sad. I mean, I didn't do anything with them. Actually, I have my Anji. My Anji, my big Anji card is framed. But, uh, yeah. The rest of them, I didn't do it. I didn't do anything with them. Okay, so this is the commander, Willow Dusk. Okay, yes, this one! Okay, how do you say this troll's name? How do you say it? Geom? Geom? Master Chef? Is that it? Is it Geom? Or is it Geomi? Or is it Geom? Or is it Geomi? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Geomi. I've heard Geom rhyming with gourmet. Oh, go what, what, wait, wait, what? Okay, how does it rhyme? How does it rhyme with gourmet? G Guillaume? G Guillaume? 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 That doesn't, I don't feel like that rhymes with gourmet. Your card, your call. Guillaume, Guillaume, are you serious or are you trolling me? Guillaume, Guillaume, I feel like y'all are trolling me big time. Big time. I don't even know what's in this deck. I mean, I know there's like a deck list, but you think I look at that? No, uh-uh. Okay, wait, 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 wait. So if I want to build a food, a food theme deck around Guillaume, the card is trolling me. It's true. It's a troll. Trample at the beginning of your end step, create a number of food tokens equal to the number of the non-token creatures you had entered the battlefield under your control this turn. Sacrifice a food target creature gains indestructible until end of turn. Tap it. So how can you make this work? You want a lot of non-token creatures to enter the battlefield under your control. So would you say that you want to bring a bunch of stuff like back from the graveyard? Because you can only cast so many creatures per turn. You think? Maybe. Okay. Honor Troll. All right, that's cool. Dina, Soul Steeper, yes. She's great, and sac and Sacrifice, you know I love that, right? I absolutely love it. Ooh, Tegra Discard. Okay, but I don't wanna be that mean. Like, yo. I thought it was pronounced Ge Gion me. Zuby, what are you talking about? 
Reanimating and making lots of tokens. Yeah, but it says non-token though. Create a number of food tokens equal to the number of non-token creatures you had enter the battlefield. So tokens don't matter. Degrade discard. So you would make yourself discard to get your stuff in the graveyard and then bring it back. Oh, sacrifice a food. Target creature gets indestructible until end of turn. Tap it. But what's up with that? Wait, what's up with that though? Pay one, sacrifice a food, target creature gains indestructible until end of turn, tap it. What, what's up with that? The, act, the activatable ability is good for pseudo control in those colors. Make a bunch of food to protect your dudes from board wipes and removal. Plus tap ability makes good for control over opponent's boards. So you do you can do it to your opponent's creatures, obviously, so they can't like attack you. They eat the food and they go into a food coma. Is that what's happening? Reanimate Voltron. Hmm. Okay, okay. Yeah, if y'all have seen deck lists or anything for this, that would be cool. Like, I kind of just want to make a silly food deck, like food themed, but I mean, obviously I want it to be able to do stuff and not just be complete trash. Uh, okay, Mortality Spear is in here. All right, all right. Witherbloom Campus. Ooh, that's pretty. Study Hall, Ancient Craving, Bloodthirsty Aerialist. Ooh, I love it. I love this card. I love vampires. Epicure of Blood, another vampire. The sheer flavor of this chef, man. It is, he's very spicy. Feed the Swarm, Greed. Reckless Spite, Silver Smoked Ghoul, Suffer the Past, Vampire Nighthawk. Okay, there's the vampires are happening here. Cultivate, yes, nice, nice. Gift of Paradise, I mean, okay. Pulse of Marasa. Well, there you go. That's some return target creature stuff. Oh, wait, no, that's from my graveyard to its owner's hand. Never mind. Rampant Growth, Leyline Prowler, Molder Vine Reclamation, Arcane Signet, Elixir of Immortality, Paradise Plume, Pristine Talisman, Soul Ring, of course, Sun Droplet, Talisman of Resilience. Blighted Woodland, Blight Mound. Do you create a bunch of pests? Whenever an untold creature you control dies, create a black and green pest. Okay, okay. Essence Pulse, Marshland Bloodcaster, another vampire, Tivash Gloom Summoner. I like some of these cards for some of my other decks. Vein Witch Coven. Blossoming Bog Beast. Ezra Root Channeler. Healing Technique. Pest Infestation. Sprout Back Trudge. Okay, that's kind of cute, not gonna lie. Trudge Garden. This does create a lot of tokens, it seems like. All the mono black and vampire love. I know, it's great, right? Yodora Grave Gardener. Whoa, look at this art. Revival Experiment. That looks so cool. Have y'all seen this? You're not seeing it now because my camera hates me. Come on, camera. Why? 
I don't know why it does this. Like, it's not even a bad camera. It's just bad to me. Hello? Focus! Okay, there. Nope, just kidding. Never mind, sorry. Y'all are not gonna see it up close. Witch's Clinic, Blood Tracker, Damnable Pack, Deadly Tempest, Defiant Blood Lord, Noxious Gear Hulk. Oh, whoa. Okay, okay. Obnixilis Reignited, Sangromancer. Oh, Sanguine Bond. There's a lot of life gain in this one, huh? Taste of Death. Ageless Entity. Nissa's Renewal. Verdant Sun's Avatar. Gaze of Granite. Gluttonous Troll. Sapling of Colfenor. Oh, hey! Colfenor! Uh, what? Alhamaret's Archive? I tried. Druidic Satchel. Luxodon Warhammer. Venser's Journal. Well of Lost Dreams. And our lands, Exotic Orchard, High Market, Land of War Waste. Yep, our lands. Okay, cool. I definitely want to try this out as is. Oh, wait, what is this? What is this really thick card at the back? What is this? This is so weird, look, it's so thick. But I already have the card. Instead of the big card, they give you like a triple thick card? Why? It's thick. It is thick. Why though? Well, I'm just like, I'm, I'm just not sure why. I got a bunch of food tokens. Oh, what do they have on the back? Fungus, beast, sapling, and pest. Very cute. I don't know what this is. Okay, what if you had a deck full of cards this thick? And then you had to shuffle that. What? Imagine, imagine, imagine. Thick Golgari. Thick instead of big. Yeah, thick goth girl. Yeah, okay, yeah. Uh, yeah, definitely, for sure. Um, yeah, I think these pre-cons are great. I definitely wanna play this as is and uh, see how it does. And then maybe change it up and build me a Giome Master Chef. How do you say it? I have no idea. We don't know, okay? We do not know. Thick deck. The, the, a deck of like this would like not fit in any deck box. And also like not in a sleeve. And also like there's just no way. This card is freaking me out. I mean, I don't know why, but it just is. Why, why is it so thick? It's really strange. Um. Oh, you got to, you got the Laureled one. Nice, nice, nice. It, it's more like an etched foil. Yeah, I guess it is. It's weird. It's really weird. That's for sure. I mean, I'm not trying to judge it, but it is kind of weird, right? Um, so that's all I'm gonna, that's all I've got for today, y'all. Uh, we need to find somebody to send a raid over to. Let's, um... <gasps> Yo, let's send a raid over to Good Luck High Five Magic because Megan and Maria are my favorite. They're the best. I love them. Let's raid them. Would that be fun? Can we do that? 
Um, thank y'all for hanging out so much. Uh, I, I, I love you all. I really do. Um, tomorrow night, uh, I will be streaming back here again. Thursday evening is our regular, um, Magic for Normies podcast, mine and Zuby's. Uh, tomorrow night though, we are going to be playing EDH for Normies. So join us back here tomorrow night at 8 p.m. Central for some EDH gameplay. And uh, yeah, that'll be super fun. We're gonna see what happens. I'm not gonna play Jury, so I'll try a different deck. But thank you all for hanging out. I hope you have a really wonderful afternoon and I hope to see you tomorrow night. Here we go, we're raiding. Bye friends. <laughs>